Η φιλανθρωπική πρεμιέρα της ταινίας «Τα Χιθιέμα» του Πολ Τόμας Άντερσον με τον Ντάνιελ Ντέι Λουίς οργανώθηκε από το Διεθνές Φεστιβάλ Κινηματογράφου της Αθήνας Νύχτες Πρεμιέρας και την Audiovisual και όλα τα έσοδα πήγαν για τους σκοπούς της Εταιρείας Προστασίας Παστικών. Σήμερα έχουμε τη χαρά να φιλοξενούμε στο Megastar τον Daniel Day Lewis. Hello Daniel. Um, tell me about that character, Plainview. Mm -hmm. I think this is a monumental character. I compare with Citizen Kane. It's some kind of big character. Yeah, it's hard for me again, you know, like in this process of speaking about things, it's hard for me to talk about him um, in any objective way. He was so much part of my life for such a long time. See, seeing that movie and that character, I, I honestly believe that you are the best actor in the world. <laughs> really. I mean... You mustn't it, say that. <laughs> I mean, it, was, it was absolutely, Thank you. absolutely, I mean, indescribable. How, how you managed to, to make, to create that character? I don't know what to say. I don't know if there is a question there, but I, I wouldn't know what to say. Do, do I say I probably the best actor in Anamo, which is the village which I live in in Ireland, and has a population of a hundred people, and 99 of them are farmers. So I think I can claim to be the best actor in Anamo. People and I see nothing worth liking. So I broke you, and I beat you. Do you have any particular strategy or kind of? way to enter in your characters? I have a way of working. Um, like I said during the press conference this morning though, it's not a science. I can understand the appetite for it because, you know, I, I'm kind of hungry for that stuff as well. Like if I see something that's remarkable to me, um, for instance, well look, there are many fine performances this year, but just to give you one example, when I saw Marion Cotillard's performance mm -hmm. in La Monde, which is one of the most astonishing things I can ever remember seeing. Some parts of me saying, how the fuck is such a thing possible? But the other parts of me is saying, I don't want to know. How much do you carry at home in your private life? Well, the period of the shooting really takes care of itself. I do travel with my family. It's one of the rules I've made. I don't have many rules in my life, but that's one of them, um, that we either travel together or we don't do it. Um, we don't, I don't do the work. Um, and during a working week, I would always, I think invariably, be out of the house before anyone's wake woken mm -hmm. up. And usually I get back to the house after they're asleep. So that it's not as if there has to be some jackal and high transition yeah. at the gate. Um, weekends are a different thing. My weekends, of course, are for my family. I mean, it would be absurd as well as frightening for the others. Yeah. If I tried to carry do. that story and th mm. through the weekends, we build a pipeline and we do a deal with Union Oil, then we're making money, we're making the real money that we should be making. From movie to movie, you have many big absence. Is sometimes sometimes are you fed up with showbiz and you want to? to stop and do something else, but I don't know. I'm fed up of hearing myself talking usually. By the time I've, I've you know, reached the end of a, a promotional campaign, I'm fed up of my own, the sound of my own voice, but not fed up of the work ever. I just recognize the moments when the impulse to work is strong, irresistible. And when it is, I go to work. Traveled across half our state to be here and to see about this land. I'm a family man. This is my son and my partner, H.W. Plainview. You boys are a regular family business. You boys are a little late. What'd you find? Well, I found some interesting prospects. I have many wells flowing at many thousand barrels per day. I can guarantee to start drilling, to put up the cash to back my word. Last questions will be about the Oscars. Yes. In one week, you'll be in the Kodak Theater. Yes. Uh, for your fourth time. Yes. Yes. Uh, I believe that you gained the Academy Award. Um, tell me honestly, how does it feel to be there? 
It's been different on different occasions. The first time I was there, I was utterly bewildered by the whole experience. Not in a bad way, I just didn't know how to make sense of it all. Um, as much as all public situations are a great contrast to the life that I lead outside of the work, which tends to be pretty quiet, the, the zenith of that public experience is the Academy Awards, and I really didn't quite know how to <laughs> handle it, but, um, but I think I'm going to enjoy it this year. I have a feeling I'm going to enjoy it. Um, apart from anything else, I get to see a lot of the people that I admire very much, and that's always a nice thing. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks. you very Thanks. much. Good Thank to talk you. to you. For competition in me, I want no one else to succeed.